What's going on guys, my name's Zach Longo and today I'm gonna teach you guys a little something about baking. Well actually I'm not, because I don't know shit about baking. I'm gonna introduce you to my boy Ed, who's the owner of my favorite place in Toronto, San Remo Bakery. I grew up on this place. San Remo, if you're in Toronto, must see TV. Let's take a trip inside. I know what you're wondering, you're like, wow, Sugo Sunday got so big that Zach hired a security guard. This is not my bodyguard. This guy is the Michelangelo of baking. Ed, why don't you introduce yourself to these people? Hey everyone, my name's Ed, owner of San Remo Bakery. I'm gonna teach this clown how to make some donuts today. Let's do it. Let's do it. So in the bowl, flour, yeast, sugar, you other special ingredients, Beautiful. and our water. Look at this mixer. Was this thing like the Mercedes Benz of of mixers. It's like a little piece of shit. Is it? I don't like these small machines. Okay, so basically blending in all the dry ingredients and then adding the water. All right, so obviously we're doing like a small batch, right? When you do the yeah, big batches. Yeah, this is a small batch, big batches over there. So you don't want to get the dough too elastically. It's basically look at a woman. You argue with an angry woman, you're not getting anywhere. Dough's the exact same way. It's too elastic, it's nervous, you never stretch it. Like technically do this by hand, but it would take you fucking forever, right? Uh, yeah, back in the day, they, you can't do it by hand. Everything you can do by hand. How many donuts do you guys make a day? Thousands. 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 How are you not like 500 pounds? You're desensitized to it, huh? It's like when you get married, you just... <laughs> you want the same exactly. wall every day? Every single day, the exact same thing. How long has San Remo been around? 50 years. So I used to work construction on Mimico. I used to come here as a kid. At one point, I was 50 pounds heavier, so I'm gonna blame him for that one. <laughs> <laughs> a good way of, of determining how the dough is ready is you can tell by the elasticity. Okay, how stretchy it is. It's stretchy it is. Now, like I said, with bread and pizza, you want it more. Donut, you don't. Like, okay. You get a little window. Yeah. Okay. So bring this to the table there. You wanna bring it? It's like Rosie O'Donnell's ass cheeks. A little bit of flour. We let it rest. We cover it with a bag okay. for about 15 minutes. It's kind of like what you do with like pizza. I did a pizza episode and I told them exactly. it's got to take a little power nap to activate the gluten. Exactly. Okay. So, okay, so we're now 15 minutes later. Now this is the best part. You stretch out the dough past the rolling pin. You want to roll it out, roll it out to a big square. Okay, clearly he's never used a fucking rolling pin before. I just don't bench 500 pounds like this guy, so <laughs> it might take me a while. Well, that's how you do okay, it. So once we got our size, we fold it. I'm used to being more delicate with the pizza dough. I've never made a donut before. <laughs> uh, never be delicate with dough. Yeah, you gotta beat the shit out you of it. You gotta beat the Okay. Then, cover the bag. We'll rest it in the fridge for half an hour. So we'll leave it here. So this is a half an hour later. See, if I worked here, I'd have to get liposuction and this is what they would fucking suck out of me. So flour's your friend. Now the important part here is to take out all the air. So let's push it down. Yeah, you Open can feel, hand. you can even see the little air bubbles in here. Everything. Is that you take your anger out? That's where I take all my anger <laughs> out. Then back to the rolling pin. So how many donuts could you get out of something like this? 60, 80. Wow. So this is to literally taking all the air from under to make sure it's not sticking to the table. You use this thing as a blanket. Look at this. <laughs> Each donut is cut by hand. So basically, cut and twist. Cut and twist. Just that, just pop it out. Oh, fuck. Yeah, use a little bit of strength there, boy. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Gotta train harder. You guys send me your fucking workout routine. <laughs> Yeah, there really, he's go. making it look a lot more difficult than Fuck. it really is. Yeah. But it's okay, first timer. Then we also do... <laughs> One shot, it's taking me 10 minutes. <laughs> then we do a twist. So it's pull, stretch the hole, and twist. Ah. And what kind of donuts would you make out of those guys? Like, These are going to be the honey something? twist. Okay. Flick. Well, that's how you're doing it, huh? Come make it look it easy. <laughs> Half a twist and a flick with the wrist. Uh, so try flipping. Special ed donuts here. 
<laughs> there we go. You're getting there, you're getting Fuck there. You're getting there. Quick with the wrist, down. So it's... Look at the size of this guy's fucking hand. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you they don't like your donuts or are they too scared of you to no, no one's <laughs> ever beat said, their ass? I'll beat their ass. All right, so now what happens with them? Okay, so now they go into a proofer. So this is a proofer, hot box, whatever you guys want to call it. Wow, it's nice and toasty in here. Just six minutes in the proofer, ready to go into the fryer. You can tell Zach made this donut. Yeah, that's got my name all over it. The donut stick and you flip. They're still a little bit light, so we'll wait a few more seconds. Okay, now try flipping those donuts. So why not just give them the same there thing? There you go, now flip, flip. Yep. And if you go too slow, you're gonna burn them. Just quick flip. So how long do these take to cook now? Like a minute aside? Well, probably roughly around a minute aside. This comes up. These are ready to go. These are ready to be dipped. This paper to absorb the oil. It's just like a parchment paper? Yeah. Woo! You got a soft hand. Man, I don't do this fucking uh, 8,000 <laughs> times a day like you. You're just double fingering them, eh? Right? Two fingers? Usually all this leftover dough is what you make your fritters with. This all turns into a fritter. We chop it up. So we're gonna marry these two. A little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon. So this is all the leftover dough from the other donuts we cut. We chop it up. Now what we do is we incorporate this. Just mix it in there like that, huh? Right in there. You just keep kind of folding it in and, you and chopping it up. keep folding it in and chopping it up. Vanessa, turn these fritters. Okay, so. Oh, you don't trust me? Oh no, I thought you wanted to do this. <laughs> So is it the same kind of thing where you like use the cutter for it or you just no, kind of make it by No, this is all by, yeah, by hand. So, and we're gonna cut it into strips. Uh, then we roll it onto the flour. So if it's too thin, would I just like kind of push it yeah, together? Yeah, just push it together. And just roll it. Okay. There we go, perfect. Boom. See that? That's it, exactly. So we line it up over here. Preparing to be proud, I finally did something uh, right for once in my life, guys. There we go. So you're getting ahead of yourself, not really something right, but we'll just, we'll just pretend. We're gonna cut the part out where he helps me fix it. <laughs> <laughs> My YouTube career fails. You can find me here. What time do we start? 2 a.m. 2 a.m. So if you have a life, get rid of it, because you won't anymore. <laughs> it's actually perfect, because the, the clubs close at 2 a.m. here, so I can just come from the bar straight here. That's it. And if you're drunk, fuck, you can make a better product. There you go. Get this masterpiece, guys. This is why I call him the Michelangelo of uh, baked goods. It's the Sistine Chapel in here. So a little rounding. Okay. And on the screen. I don't know why you're standing around. Well, I fuck I, fritters. I'm scared of you. I'm gonna fuck it up for you. <laughs> if you fuck up a fritter, <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out. You got some serious issues. <laughs> it's supposed to look fucked up. This is my donut. <laughs> Everyone watching this, it's not that complicated. He's making it more complicated. Make it complicated. <laughs> this is another moment on Special Ed Donuts and I'm <laughs> Special Ed student. Perfect, yeah. Good? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Krispy Kreme, eat your fucking heart out. Now let's put him to the test. Cut me six fritters the exact same size. Oh, fuck. That's not bad, right? Oh fuck, pretty good. Pretty good, good. Huh? So the fritters, the going, fritters go into the oil. Beautiful. The same thing, we couple minutes yeah, before flipping them. them. Okay, fuck it, it's good. Okay, so these are the fritters. Zach fried and made by himself. Okay. So this is where you stick your hand in there. That's perfect. That square is always on the bottom. So what do you got in this part? Yeah, so that's the bottom, it looks ugly. You want to look at a girl's face, not her ass. It well, depends on the girl. Depends on the girl. For this store. I just hired him full time. Guys, this guy's going to be making your donuts from now on. Always start from the far end so that when you bring it, it doesn't drip. Dip, a slight rub on the top so there's nothing left. And 
and that's the donut. Wow. All right, so dip. Yep. Do a twist. Yep, and then scrape a little bit off the side so you don't have the runoff in there. That's it. And always dip the squares. So we mix the chocolate every two, three donuts. So a simple twist, dip, scrape it off the top a little bit. Doesn't have to look the prettiest because yeah, you're, gonna you're cover covering it. it. I like I love doing this. Wow. Exact to learn how to fill a donut. Okay, you're right handed, right? Yeah. The hole and squeeze. Shank that. Pull out. I pulled out game strong. Is that good or not? No, there's no filling in there. Really? Guys, if you get any donuts with no filling, it was my fault. It's his fault. There we go. I see you do this is the part I see you do on Instagram. Okay. Fucking so attempt this. Once again, squeeze and turn. That wasn't bad, no? Is that bad? You went like this. That's still not bad. I was gonna say, it looks keep great. It, keep it in one spot. And then a half a turn. Too much of a turn. That looks like someone shit on my donut. <laughs> I'm not. I shit, 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 shit. It's all in the hips. It's baby. all in the hips, baby. <laughs> okay, hold the bag. Okay. Let's hold hands, okay? Right, let's hold hands. All right. Okay, now squeeze. 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 Put strength into the hand. Do that again. I said you. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shake it. Yeah. It's in the fucking wrist, okay? Everything we do is in the wrist, if you notice. More than that or are we good? I don't know, would you eat a donut with a little bit of shit on there like that? Okay, I'm overboard. I'll pour the whole fucking thing on there. So you can't even do this job. <laughs> Guys, I'm really concerned at oh, this point. See half the directions. You say on the wrist and now he brings in the other fucking head. But it's <laughs> this half-ass cooking school here. <laughs> see, look at the difference. Yeah, bring them to the store, Zach. All right. Sell them to our customers. Let's go. <laughs> what happens if I drop these? 30 second roll? You go like this, squeeze hard, and then have exactly. Look at that. A lot of stuff actually like goes into making this, you know? Yeah. It's this is the stuff people don't see, you know? Exactly. I'm gonna try and do a one-handed like you. No, I'm gonna do it like you. It's like, I like it to be related. I watch all these cooking shows and people have like crazy tools and... And everyone's showing it's so easy. Yeah, it's, it's not. really not. This is the jumbo donut. Oh, shit. Zach struggled with the little one, so yeah. we'll keep this for his next Okay, we're doing a jumbo coconut donut. So we're gonna cut the donut. Wow. Okay. So now we're gonna see how your skills are. Judging by the first uh, 17,000 donuts we did this morning. Okay, the key is to always yeah. use the tip of the spatula. Back and forth, all with the wrist a again. stick handling. So just like that? Yep. Use a little bit of strength, so when you do it, push you're it. pushing, pushing, yep. And never, never do that. So what you I never like want to do, whether, yeah, whether you're doing a cake, a donut, doesn't matter. Whenever you're smoothing, any sort of cream, you never pull. Because okay. when you do, you pull the, the actual product from the bush. And then when you got to release, you push back and you lift. You're the safety net. If I fuck it up, I'm, I feel good that you're going to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you to make a thin coat of it, spread it on top. This you can't fuck up. Just the tip of it. Exactly. Just the tip. Just the Ladies, tip. Ladies, just the tip. Right here? Yep. That's good. Boom. It's not centered, so. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. Where's the fuck center? Right here? Right here, right over here. No? Yeah? No? Okay. Then we get the coconut. Did I just hit the whole cake yeah. now? Just a little bit, yeah. A little bit more. Not too much? That good? That's good.
Yeah. New Year. <laughs> I think I just got fired on my first day. It looks alright. <laughs> I've seen better. Wow. Alright, so as you can see guys, our donuts are on the rack, ready to be sold. They're going for triple the price because it took us quadruple the work because I kept fucking everything up. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you want to see some more episodes at San Remo Bakery because whether you do or don't, we're coming back here. He probably doesn't want me here, but we're gonna, me. Let's do it again. <laughs> we're gonna do it again. Come buy some donuts. Tell Ed I sent you. Thanks for watching guys. Ciao. Thank you.